Magic Motion. Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. Today I'm going to show you how to use magic motion to get those images sliding all over your screen with the greatest of ease. So let's jump off into Power Director 14 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Cyberlink Power Director 14 Ultimate and I'm about to show you how to add some magic and motion to your stills and pics. So basically that's what magic motion does. It allows you to add interest to your videos by adding motion to any stills or pictures that you have in your video. Any picture just sitting there on the screen is boring. So sometimes you want to add some motion to it and magic motion makes that easy for you so you don't have to use keyframes to move the picture around. So right now I have a JPEG on my timeline of some bamboo. So I'm going to left click on this and then I'm going to click on the magic wand. When I click on that, I get some uh, magic tools that pop up and I'm going to select magic motion. Now when I do that, my window above my timeline changes from the media window or whatever effect room or PIP designer, whatever I was in, it changes to the magic motion room. Now here you see that you have 22 different types of motion that you can apply to your image just by clicking on it. So if I click on any one of these, it's going to automatically apply it to the JPEG that I selected. And you can see with the little stars, the stars are moving and giving you a preview of what that actual motion will look like when you apply it to your JPEG. So if I click on pan and zoom and I play this, you see that it zooms, zooms out. So if I click on vertical up and I play that, you see it moves up. So basically it's pretty easy to do. You just apply the type of magic motion that you want by left clicking on it and it will apply it to your um, image. Now you also have the option here to create your own motion. So you can use keyframes, move around, create your own motion and make it custom. You can also click on motion designer and it'll open up the same window that it would open up if you clicked on user defined. If I click on user define, it opens up the magic motion designer. If I click on motion designer, it opens up the magic motion designer. Same window. All right. So basically I can take the current magic motion uh, that I have applied to it and change it, or I can start over from scratch. So if I place my cursor over this blue dot and move it, then I can move it that way. I can move the endpoint somewhere else. I can preview it to see what it would look like up in the right hand corner. See the preview going on right there. So it's really, really easy to make custom uh, motions as well. You can add keyframes, uh, duplicate keyframes, all of these different buttons down here. I go over in my keyframing video. So if you want to know more about how to use these keyframe buttons, then watch that video. And that's it, people. Magic motion. All up in your life. Hey, Power Director Peaks. Thank you for watching the video all the way through to the end. I truly appreciate that. If you like the content in this video, do me a favor and click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. If you got any questions, need any help, got any tutorial ideas, leave them in the comments below. And if you want more Power Director love like this on a regular basis every other Saturday, smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, that means that you will get notifications whenever I upload content to YouTube, and then you'll be able to watch it, and laugh, and learn, and love, and live, and have some fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.